I I was inspired uh, a while ago uh, to do, uh, to do this uh, video by one of my fellow bloggers. Um, it's my it's a video on my disabilities. Uh, I suffer from cerebral palsy and epilepsy and today i'm going to do the video on my cerebral palsy i was born in 1960 uh, with the condition and it was first spotted by my mother and father uh, when i was uh, given things to hold and i would move them across uh, it's on my right side and uh, i would move them from my right hand uh, to my left hand. Uh, also around that time my parents noticed that I couldn't move my right fingers um, individually and, and so I was taken to see my local GP. Now being the early 60s uh, there wasn't a lot that could be done. Um, Now, as I started getting older, I had to rely on family cutting up my uh, food and I was also bullied at primary and at secondary school, both physically and uh, verbally. I've got a younger brother uh, who's a year and a half younger than me and um, At one point, uh, when he was at primary school with me, uh, he actually stepped in on uh, the physical um, abuse. I come from a family uh, with a musical background and when we moved into the house um, where I attended primary school, uh, we inherited an upright piano. Um, and somehow I, I developed an ear for a tune. Um, and when I heard that tune, off I went and played it on the piano with my left hand at the time um, because that's all I could do at that particular time. When I was about seven years old and my parents decided to send me for um, piano lessons partly uh, to help me with my right hand and uh, partly to um, help me with my uh, musical ab abilities uh, but uh, when I look back at that um, I can see the, the reason they did it but then uh, there was me being stubborn uh, uh, child uh, and said that I couldn't do it um, because I couldn't do my homework, the piano homework, um, or the piano lessons because of my, it was difficult for my cerebral palsy and my right hand. When I was about nine years old, uh, we moved house uh, again uh, with the, the piano. Um, but there was no room for it in the, the living area uh, of that house so the piano there was a, a closet where you put you know um uh, jackets and, and shoes etc uh, there was no light in that closet so the piano was shoved in there um and yes you guessed it 
I went into a closet, closet uh, and played that piano. Um, uh, so I did. We weren't in that, that house very long. We were only in that house for about two and a half years when we moved again. Moving on into, into my early 20s, I, I bought myself a Hammond organ. Um, and one day, whilst sitting at the organ, I, I worked out that I could use uh, my forefinger of my right hand and my left hand to do the chords. And um, that, t t to me, sounded as if it was somebody uh, playing the organ properly. Uh, so it did. And that is how I continue to play um, a keyboard or organ uh, to this day. Um, I was born into the Salvation Army uh, and when I was old enough I joined uh, what is known as the, the Young People's Band playing a trombone because I was right, it was easy for me because I was right handed. But uh, when I was older, around about the age of 16, I moved into the senior band, still playing a trombone, but uh, gradually I moved onto valved instruments. Um, uh, where I played a variety uh, of uh, valved instruments uh, with my left hand and I am currently still doing that today uh, by playing what they call a barit baritone. I became a Christian at the age of seven uh, uh, in the Salvation Army. Uh, I get, that's when I gave my life to God. Um, I've had my ups and downs uh, in my Christian life, uh, obviously since then, as everybody else does. What part my faith has played played in my cerebral palsy is I believe that through the bullying at school the Lord was by my side and was helping me fight uh, my battles and it was the same when I mastered uh, uh, playing the organ with both hands. Uh, again, I believe Jesus had a hand in that, um, as he did with all my other uh, physical di uh, difficulties uh, that I had to overcome. I'm going to finish this by saying, um, over the last few years, I've had my balance uh, has been affected um, uh, by, with my cerebral palsy uh, and I have to walk with a stick, um, which doesn't bother me. Uh, um, and I'm going to add to uh, a funny part to this, there's a, and that is my two-year-old daughter. Um, when I go to visit her, or if she comes here, uh, and she sees my walking stick, she will bring that walking stick to me, uh, whether I need it or not. Um, 
uh, believe it or not. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's that's it. Um, if you're watching this this on my blog page, uh, feel free to comment. Uh, if you're on Facebook, put a comment on my group page, and uh, if you're on uh, my YouTube channel, uh, again, likewise, comment on on there. Uh, thank you very much for listening, and uh, watch out for the uh, video on um, my epilepsy. Bye.